Verity. 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 It's Verity. Brought to you by... Assalamualaikum and good morning podcast. Alright, so my name is Muhammad Zulhazi bin Zainuddin and I welcome you guys to my first ever podcast. Alright, so my name is Muhammad Zulhazi bin Zainuddin and today I am going to talk about publicity. Is it a highway to hell or a stairway to heaven? Alright, so before I start this topic, let me introduce myself properly first lah right okay so my name is Muhammad Zul Haziq bin Zainuddin i am a student in public relation i'm i'm currently a student taking public relation in UiTM Alor Gajah Melaka and this is one of my method to raise awareness on publicity on teaching people in regards of publicity based on my education background All right so without further ado let us start with this topic Okay, first of all, what exactly is publicity? Right. So, if you go to Google, right? If you go to Google, then you search uh, publicity meaning. It will give you the meaning from dictionary, of course. Uh, publicity can be understood as a notice or attention given to someone or something by the media. Uh, to explain it more uh, understandable for you guys, publicity is something that most people want for their name for their brand to grow so today we are going to discuss publicity is it a highway to hell or is it a stairway to heaven right so uh if i ask you guys what do you guys think about good publicity and what do you guys think about bad publicity obviously currently we are living in a world where there are two kind of publicity first one is good publicity and the last one is bad publicity So, if you are a content creator, what path would you choose in your lifestyle for you to gain publicity? Alright, so I'm sorry, but I forgot. Shout out. This is a shout out segment for my sponsors. First of all, shout out to KitKat for sponsoring the snacks for me during my podcast session. And also shout out to Logitech for giving me the tags that I needed for my podcast. Yeah, they gave me new microphones, new earphones and everything and KitKat they give me some new products. Uh, later on I will promote to you guys more on this kind of products on my Instagram. All right. So sorry for that. I really I really really forgot to include my sponsorship. Or do I? Do I really forgot or do I want to make you guys more you know to pay more attention to my shout out <laughs> all right i leave that to you guys all right so let's us continue again on my topic which is publicity a highway to hell or a stairway to heaven let us start with the highway to hell first highway to hell a fast way a shorter way but always bound to be doomed you know you get what i mean right okay so what do i mean by that Uh, so, so see, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I'm going to teach you guys about this. So, okay. For example, to make you guys more enlightened in regard of this topic, for highway to hell, in Malaysia we have a lot of example of influencers of celebrities. Whose name were not that you know were not that famous. They were not that famous and everything, and they did something. Their name you know shot up like a rocket to the sky. Uh, but eventually, yeah, they will fall down back again. Uh, the closest example that I can give you guys on this particular stay. Ah, I'm sorry, highway to hell is Ali Shukri. Okay, who is Alif Shukri? Ah, uh, Sazi, who, who is Alif Shukri? Who is Alif Shukri? Ah, uh, you guys know him. <laughs> He's someone that, uh, very attention deficit people. You know, uh, he wants attention from everyone and everything. He wants attention to his name, to his social media, to his brand and everything. Uh, Alif Shukri is a man who has an empire. For his cosmetic products and everything, he sells many things. Uh, but 
as usual people who are famous they will get unfamous if i can say so alif shukri always created some uh tension here and there sometimes you know uh sometimes he's being good sometimes he's being bad and everything for example uh if you guys remember back in those days back before i don't quite remember what year is is it but he actually by a cat not you know not a not a stray cat and everything but a dangerous cat uh it's it's like half half tiger half lion half cat i think i'm not i'm not that sure but i think you guys remember about this case where that animal or that pet that he bought was actually endangered and was actually dangerous and you know he he posted video stories about it on instagram and everything uh to gain attention and and that is an essence always when people do something stupid we will bring the stupid to them again right okay but uh if this example was way to way back the newest example for his buffoonery if i can see uh, maybe buffoonery is a bit harsh uh the latest thing that he did for him to gain more publicity more attention was during ramadan was during the previous ramadan the previous eight uh where he recorded uh, an eight video a raya video a music video but it was <laughs> how can i say uh you know ramadan is a holy month right so people focuses on their on their uh, religious stuffs uh, uh prayers and everything but alif shukri he did something that makes the muslim community especially in malaysia really mad uh he posted a music video but that music video was uh <laughs> i don't want to talk about that much because uh then i will just uh, you know but 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 it's it's not a very good music video that music video contains things that should not be contained in a raya video and everything and of course uh when you do something stupid netizen will bring the stupid back to you just like what he did before uh he was called out by everyone in malaysia even by his own mother he was called by uh mscc malaysian cyber community malaysian security cyber uh, council i'm sorry <laughs> for his action and everything sure his actions can bring his name out on a spotlight in a very short time period like just like that his name can be up in the trending part in malaysia but is it a good thing does he name does does he have a good name for that just like what i mentioned earlier highway to hell it is a very fast paced way for you to gain publicity but it is a bad publicity for you guys all right just like what alif shukri did his name i think i think he thinks that his name is currently not that big and everything so in order for him to gain more publicity he did something stupid something that would cause uh an uproar in the netizens community sure his name does you know gets viral and everything but eventually he will get he will reap what he saw uh you know he did something bad and then something bad also will happen to him so i leave you guys a question if you did something that is not that good that stupid that that's not that uh that's you know that those those stuffs that you do in order for you to gain publicity in in a short time period if you guys did that and it is not an intelligent way for you guys to do that in a way it is a stupid way for you to do do you really think that people will talk about you for a long time for your good stuffs or about your bad stuffs right okay now we have talked about the highway to hell a short but will destined to doom now okay now we are going to talk about stairway to heaven <laughs> if you guys know about 
this this is actually title of songs highway to hell stairway to heaven but i think it's 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 catchy for me to say this in my podcast right so stairway to heaven uh if i can make you guys understand this this is in a way a slow process you build your name from down and then you slowly build your empire to the top all right so it is a slow process a very very slow process it will take months years maybe it will not be that quick for you to gain your name for you to gain your publicity however your name will forever be top in a good way as an example of this okay as an example of this is Khairul Amin you guys know Khairul Amin a celebrity on Instagram an influencer who uses his platform to cook to share recipes especially on Ramadan where he shares his uh, 30 hari 30 recipe on Ramadan right so uh, Carol I mean he started I think three years ago four years ago he consistently post his videos on social media on YouTube on Instagram on Twitter uh, he did not do anything stupid he just focuses on his forte which is cooking uh he cooks but in a friendly manner he he's like someone that that's close to us he talks to us in his video he cooks while uh while talks to us while sharing his insights and everything so it is a good thing you know he builds his empire from below uh he consistently publish video he consistently do good and everything and last year i think last year he created a product his sambal his sambal khairul amin and you guys know in regards of that sambal right <laughs> it was so good his name was so good that whenever he posted a new batch on shopee in a matter of seconds his product will be sold out so khairul amin someone that's you know that is not that popular back then five years ago seven years ago but he decided that he wants to be an influencer and how does he do that he took the stairway to heaven path it is a slow process it took him years to build his name to build his brand and look at him now he is among the most famous people on instagram in malaysia i think his account was among the top follow followers in malaysia i think if i'm not mistaken and look at him like now he his product always got sold out on shopee uh, there are not that many uh, rumors about him bad rumors there are not that many uh, people that smoking him because he do it genuinely you know he took the long path he took the long road and it lasted very well for him okay so i've talked about highway to hell a fast but destined to doom path and i have talked about stairway to heaven it is a slow process but a long lasting and keeping a good rapport for your name so if you guys trying to be influencer what kind of path would you choose surely people will say a bad publicity is still a publicity however how good is that kind of publicity for you do you want to build your name your brand based on bad publicity Or do you want to have a good rapport for your name, for your company, for your brand, in a good publicity way? Kairul Amin is one among many that uses this uh, stairway to heaven path in order for his name to grow. There are a lot of influencers, there are a lot of people out there that uses the same method for their name to grow. Uh, if I can name a few such, like, such as Sofian, Uh, such as Asfahiri, those people that uses social media, that uses their platform slowly but consistently to build their name. They try to avoid any dramas, they try to avoid any rumors. Uh, they uses their name only for their brand to grow. They did not gain publicity for a group for from a bad perspective and everything. And look at them now. They are among the influencers that that's not that bad you know that's not that ha- that doesn't have that many rumors about them so 
even though bad publicity is still a bad ah I'm, sure, I'm sorry even though bad publicity is still a publicity but is it a good one if you want to be an influencer do you want your name to be remembered based on your bad actions or do you want your name to be remembered based on your good deeds such as Carol Amin such as Sofiang and many more so I think I think that's all from me right now I don't want to talk much because you know humans attention span right now is very very limited okay so I think you guys have I think I think I have given my thoughts in regards of this publicity in regards of this uh, bad publicity good publicity so uh, I think that's all for me thank you guys for listening stay tuned for many more episodes and I'll see you guys soon thank you assalamualaikum and goodbye